Optimization deals with creating a mathematical function to model a real life situation and then finding the maximum or the minimum of that function. You can imagine that a lot of companies would be looking to maximize their profit. So this is a type of math that happens often in the real world. You already know how to find the maximum or minimum of a quadratic function. So that part is going to be pretty easy. The tricky thing will be interpreting the context in order to figure out what the function actually is. Let's jump right into an example. Suppose you wanted to build a fenced enclosure for your chickens. But you have really dramatic chickens, and not all of them get along. So you're splitting the enclosure into two halves, like this diagram. Given that you only have enough fencing material to cover a total length of 60 meters, what are the dimensions of the pen that would give you the maximum area inside for your chickens? Okay, so first thing you want to do is draw and label a diagram if possible, especially if the question involves geometry or shapes. Our chicken pen looks like this, and we know that there are two different side lengths that we need to find. Let's label them L for length and W for width. Second, what function are we trying to maximize? Well, we want to maximize the area. For a rectangle like this, that's the length times the width. So we are trying to maximize A equals L times W. Okay, well, we don't know A, L, or W, and this doesn't look like a quadratic at all. Luckily, we were given another piece of information, a constraint. Because we only have 60 meters of fencing, we can't just make the enclosure as big as we want. Let's write it out as an equation. 60 meters of fencing will be used for two of the lengths and three of the widths. So our constraint is 60 equals 2L plus 3W. This allows us to solve this equation for L and then substitute what we find into the area function so that we only have one variable to worry about. So let's do some algebra. 60 minus 3W equals 2L. So 30 minus 1.5W equals L. So if L equals 30 minus 1.5 W, then doesn't A equal that times W? If we expand this, we get A equals 30 W minus 1.5 W squared. And then if we just rearrange it a little bit, we have A equals negative 1.5 W squared plus 30 W. And this is a quadratic in general form. We can find the vertex, which will be the maximum, using w equals negative b over 2a, which is negative 30 over 2 times negative 1.5, which is negative 30 divided by negative 3, which is 10. So the width is going to be 10 meters. Now, how can we find the length? We have to look at our constraint again. Now that we know w is 10, we have 60 equals 2L plus 3 times 10. So 30 equals 2L, so L is going to be 15, which means the length will be 15 meters, giving us a 10 meter by 50 meter enclosure for the maximum area. I'd like to go over one more example. Suppose you are now selling the eggs from your chickens. Your base price for a carton of eggs is $3, and you usually sell 18 cartons a day at that price. You've experimented with raising and lowering the price in the past, and your data shows that for every dollar you increase the price, you lose three customers. So what is the best price for a carton of eggs if you want to maximize your profit? Okay. We can't really draw a diagram for this one, so we'll skip that step. Now, what are we trying to maximize? Our revenue, or the money we make from selling our eggs. Our 
for revenue, will be equal to the price of a carton of eggs times the number of cartons we sell. So let x be the number of dollars we increase the price. Then the price will be 3 plus x, and we lose 3 people for every dollar we increase, so the number of cartons we sell will be 18 minus 3x. So r equals 3 plus x times 18 minus 3x. We expand that to get r equals 54 minus 9x plus 18x minus 3x squared. And then we collect like terms to get r equals negative 3x squared plus 9x plus 54. This is the quadratic that we want to find the maximum of, and it doesn't seem like we have any constraints this time to worry about. So let's use negative b over 2a to find the vertex. x equals negative 9 over 2 times negative 3, which is negative 9 divided by negative 6, which is 1.5. Now, what does this number mean? Well, Remember x was the amount of dollars we would increase the price from the base price of $3. So the optimal price of a carton of eggs in this scenario is $3 plus $1.50, which is $4.50. Once again, that doesn't cover all of the types of optimization problems you might encounter. Here are some general steps to keep in mind. Draw a picture if the problem is talking about geometry. Determine a function for what you're trying to maximize or minimize. Use constraints from the problem to get your function in terms of just one variable. Use x equals negative b divided by 2a to find the extrema of your quadratic, or graph it using an online tool. Think about what your answer means in the context of the problem and solve for any other values that the question is asking for.